Chad. Introducing the challenger, representing the Lucha Dragons from Mexico City, weighing in at 198 pounds, Steve Gata. Wow, this arena has come completely unglued. You want to know how popular this guy is? His t-shirts sell out at every arena we go to practically before the first match even starts. Who gives a damn about t-shirts? Introducing the challenger, representing the Lucha Dragons from Mexico City, weighing in at 170 pounds, Carlisto. This guy will settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. We're guaranteed the crowning of a new champion tonight in this match. After all the anticipation, that championship will finally have a home. Here we go as these three competitors go to war. And his attention is now focused on that arm. Quick thinking to avoid that. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Ah, Sankara softened up here. All three of these competitors hoping to walk away with the winner's end of the purse tonight. Uh, Kalisto really made a name for himself competing in his hometown of Mexico City prior to going to NXT in 2013. Tell us about Neville. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. Yep, there's the reversal by Kalisto. Of course, the Cruiserweight Championship to trace its roots all the way back to 1991 when it was introduced by WCW. From our vantage point, it doesn't even look like a sweat has been broken. To King's earlier point, Kalisto is a star in his hometown of Mexico City, and interestingly enough, he was actually born in Chicago. Chicago? I'm not buying it. The kid's unworldly. The way he bounces around the ring, he literally defies all the rules of gravity. Makes the cover. Not today, too fast. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look me? Look at this hang time. Incredible. Oh. Oh, that can't feel good. I'm not sure I can watch this. King, just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. This match will have a lot of big moves. One question will be, who will capitalize on those moves the best? And who will capitalize on those moves the earliest? That's important. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. Kalisto gets rocked. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. We've seen plenty of high flyers over the years, Cole. And after watching Sid Carr for a few years now, I'd have to say that he belongs among the elite class of WWE high flyers. I mean, he's just so amazing to watch. Oh, out of nowhere. Cole, what's he got in mind? 
Moves like that. The shoulders are dead. Oh, he stops the count. What action. He goes for the quick pin attempt. Count, Riz, count. Sin Cara has gained the upper hand. Are you seeing this? And there are the ropes. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. Why not? If it's working, don't change it. Thinking about it now, I'd have to agree with you, Kane. See, Carr's awe-inspiring aerial assault certainly rivals that of Jimmy Snuka, Rob Van Dam, Rey Mysterio, and the other greats that have taken to the sky here in WWE. You know, it's almost as if the man can literally defy gravity. I know it sounds funny, but it's not all that far off. The blunt force to the head right there might leave him down for good. Well, we're on the move here. Man, not any give when you catch an elbow like that. You're right about that, Cole. That had to hurt. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. That suplex was picture perfect. Wow. He's still down after that. He's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you have to settle things down. Get the blood flowing back in your body and strategize what your next move or your next form of attack will be. He's in full-on attack mode now. You can feel the heart and passion pouring out of Sin Cara. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. How much damage did that do? A lot, from the looks of it. Oh, well, you have to be on your toes when you're in the ring with Kalisto. Like most of his moves, the Salida del Sol can come out of nowhere. You gotta protect the neck better than that. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. This could be all she wrote. Wow, what a move from Kalisto. That's how you make this crowd stand on its feet. Shoulders, they're still alive. Yeah, Cole, you remember that song back in the day? Staying alive? Well, that was it in WWE terms. This, will it be? One, two. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. He's got him. Back to the Salida del Sol. I'd say part of the reason why it's so effective is because it's so dizzying. Kalisto's opponents barely know where they are. And before you know it, boom, they're hit with a Salida del Sol. Yeah, and I can hardly pronounce it. But you know, in addition to being dizzy, it has to do a number on the back of your head and your neck. Oh, never going in. Hey, the and the shoulder's up. And the match continues. I love this. Wow, I thought that was it for Sin Cara. This young man is just so exciting. Quick thinking to avoid that. Talk about momentum. Sometime Neville's offense makes me think he came here from the future. This is insane. Beautiful suplex. See what kind of response we'll get. Yeah, I'm telling you, that suplex was perfect. Wow, he's still down after that. And he goes for the pin. There's the count. Two. These are great competitors. Great, tremendous gladiators here. And misjudge that.
attacking from the top. I think everyone knows how that must feel. There's no escaping this. What a win! Man, he's got to feel great. Oh, they mesmerized the WWE Universe in that match. Oh, boy. That was a spectacular performance. some unbelievable highlights. Watch this. Oh boy, that was a spectacular performance. Here's your winner and the new WCW Cruiserweight Champion, representing the Lucha Dragon, Kalisto. Big win over some very Tough competition. You know, if I didn't knock so many heads off with my clothesline from 